Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Now, setting gemstones into silver bezels takes time, practice and a lot of equipment. But thanks to a new range of findings, it's now possible to make beautiful gem set jewellery in a matter of seconds without any soldering or equipment. All you need is a pair of round nose pliers. It's that simple. You're going to love this. Follow me. So these are little ovals and these are called Raptite fittings and I've got a little pack here of five of them and these are 8 by 6 millimeter. and I've also got over here I've got a little oval shaped garnet which is also 8 by 6 so that garnet should fit nicely into that and then I've also got here some 5 millimetre round fittings and I've, to match those I've got a 5 millimetre little blue topaz stone so again that should fit nicely into the settings there so let's give you a closer look at them and see how we use them okay so here you can see a closer look at it it's quite small so what you've got is a uh, kind of bezel that runs all the way around with a small groove inside it and the important point to know is this little gap at either end here. So the stone needs to go face down so that it's nice and flat. And then we get the bezel and just pop that over the top. And then what we need to do, if I just turn it round, I need to push it down at both sides so it clips. If we do that it's now clipped into the bezel but it's not held very securely so what I need to do now is squeeze it at the neck at either end but I don't want to squeeze shut these ends here because I'll never get my jump rings in so what it's advisable to do is to put a little piece of wire through these ends so you can see here now I've just put some wire through there and just a loop of wire through there now I'm using one millimeter wire here because in a moment I'm going to use some one millimetre jump rings to connect it to the necklace. So what I need to do now is a pair of small parallel pliers and I'm going to nip it, hopefully you can see this, just on the neck. If I can just get this in it's a bit difficult. I'm just going to squeeze that there okay hopefully you can see that there and I'm just going to give that a little squeeze and then the same on the other side there and hopefully you can see the neck down there and I'm just using the very tips okay and I can now attach it onto a small jump ring with a pair of pliers And we've now got a simple little garnet pendant. And because we've got the hole at the end there, I could add a link of these and make them into a bracelet or a chain or whatever I wanted. Earrings, whatever you want to do. Very, very versatile little finding. Now, this is the blue topaz, round 5mm. And again, we'll lay it flat get the little round bezel and we just pop it over the top and using my thumbnails I'm going to clip down at each side till it snaps and then the same again I'm going to pop a little piece of wire just through the end and then using the very tips of my round nose pliers I'm just going to squeeze the neck there and just tighten it up once I'm happy with that uh, I can remove the wire pop in my jump ring and attach it to an atlas as appropriate and then you see in a matter of seconds I've got a beautiful blue topaz and silver pendant and of course the beauty is because there's no soldering I don't have to do any polishing I just squeeze and go and it really is as simple as that so hopefully you can see now that with just a couple of these little findings and some jump rings it's very simple to make beautiful pendants with gemstones, silver chains and it's a matter of seconds it really is that simple so if you're looking for something quick and easier it doesn't get quicker and it doesn't get easier 
So, I've been Dave Wilson. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye for now.